Hey, welcome back. I think I am just going to do kind of a, a note roulette today and just try to get rid of as many notes as I can. I don't actually know what to do now. Uh, there's probably a... Wait, didn't I get the dark suit? Doesn't that mean I don't get hurt in the dark? Why am I still getting hurt? Let's look at my inventory. Uh, miscellaneous movement system? Didn't I get a dark suit? Armor. How do I use it? <laughs> Why am I not using it? I don't know. It doesn't look like I'm using it right now. Do you have to switch it? I don't remember it doing that. I don't know. Oh. Is this something? Oh, I am wearing it, right? What's happening? Okay, let's let's uh Let's do a note roulette. See, look at these are all my notes. Can you see them? Oops. No, 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 no. These should all be new notes too, because I try to delete them, but some of them might be repeats. And duh. Okay. I can do this whole kind of section. What's the best that can happen? Nothing. There's a misunderstanding of what's holding me back. It's not fear of what's the worst thing that can happen. Well, this is more of like that solve for happy book. Because I've already kind of talked about it, but the solve for happy book, it's for people who are struggling with happiness. I don't think I'm struggling with happiness. I think I can feel happy sometimes, but happiness isn't enough for me. <laughs> I want more. Is that is that uh, asking for too much? Happiness is boring, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. It's just like, he's, the book is about his son had cancer and died and he found a way to be happy. I don't have any tra anything traumatic like that happen to me. I, uh, so I'm not trying to overcome any sadness to be happy. It's not my goal. So people, people say, well, you do this a thought experiment when you want to go to something and you're holding yourself back. Ask yourself, well, what's the worst that can happen? I think the example he gave was, uh, to do a public speaking thing and if you're afraid just ask yourself what's the worst that can happen oh I I embarrass myself and people think I'm stupid okay is that really that bad if that's if that that is one possible outcome um, but you could also do good so <laughs> I don't know so did it, uh, did this do something? No. I don't understand why the dark suit doesn't help me. Dark Aeon Control Center. I guess that, uh, I have to go back to that, uh, that elder guy. I think I did what I was supposed to do here. This game is fun. <laughs> so... So, the problem I have is, isn't what's the worst that can happen, it's actually what's the best that can happen. That's my thought. I've, I've done so many things in my life and none of them, I haven't liked any of them. So my brain's like, well, what's the best that can happen if you go to this 
uh, event. You're not gonna like it, because I, I know you're not gonna like it. I know you. That's the best that can happen. It's just like, it's just nothing. You're like, oh yeah, that was whatever. That's the best. So why would you do it? <laughs> That's my problem. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? I'm interesting. I like this uh, note roulette thing. Let's keep doing it. I don't know where to go. I got the dark suit. That doesn't really help me. I might just have to look up uh, the walkthrough. Where does it tell me to go? Temple grounds. I have to go to that temple area. Where is that? Oh, this place? Probably. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's do a note, though. He worries about not providing for his family. I don't worry about money. I don't worry. About, I worry about being a bad person. Um, ah, shoot, I just lost a note. Uh, whatever. I, the other note below that was, <laughs> um, I forget what it said, but it, it, it I, want, I wonder if the guy who started the coronavirus knows that he's the start, because it started with what, like a, a guy ate a pangolin or something. Um, imagine if you're that guy, you, one day you're just like, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of weird today, uh, what, what do you want to eat? I don't know, maybe pangolin? Yeah, I haven't had pangolin in a long time. You eat a pangolin. Then a year later, two million people are dead <laughs> because you ate a pangolin. How would how would you deal with something like that? Hopefully he doesn't know. It's crazy. It's just how it works. I'm definitely, I, I, I'm definitely gonna have a hard time. Hopefully this never happens, but like if, if someone, uh, well, I'll use the example of the Solve for Happy book guy. His son died because the doctor who was giving him an appendectomy made like a mistake and he made an incision in his like femoral artery or something and he just didn't notice and so his son just died. He bled out from a stupid procedure. If that ever happened to me or like someone I knew, I would have a hard time. Okay, this is bad. I haven't saved. Shoot. This is why you always save after you fight a boss. Who are these guys? Get out of here. Give me that. Good. Um, if that ever happened to me, like, I don't know, <clears throat> I wouldn't, you're just supposed to not think about it, but, but I mean, if he had gone to a different doctor, if he had, he had came, he came home and he had a different doctor. So if, if he just didn't come home, he wouldn't be dead. I mean, how can you not think about that? If that ever happened to me, I probably would struggle with that. You just have to move on and be like, oh, whatever, stuff happens. But there are so many little things. If they had gone differently, he wouldn't be dead. And that's just the truth. I know you could say, oh, I'll think about all the times that maybe he could have died, but he didn't. Well, I don't care about that. <laughs> I care about the fact that he's dead. And you didn't have to be. Let's 
So I guess we'll just... I, I titled one of my episodes... What was it? We won't cross that bridge when we never get to it or something like that. <laughs> I like that title. Like, let's, let's not even worry about that bridge. We're not even going that way, so... <laughs> Bridge. Who's talking about bridges? I'm just gonna stay here. I'm not gonna cross any bridges. Why would I ever cross a bridge? Okay, I have to save before I go there. Um, the whole point of doing this roulette thing was to delete notes but I can't oh this is a thing where you uh you go <laughs> you go in the ball and you I don't know you get like a speed ball thing and it's like this <laughs> you do a okay what does that do it just gives it to me okay I'll take it Dark suit's pretty cool. No, 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 no. Stop. Actually, I already did that note. That was the feeling good on Friday. Oh, this one, uh, Trump was bragging about guessing the vaccine would be this year. That's dumb. <laughs> um, it's frustrating when he does that because he wasn't basing that on anything. He was just like, uh, and why does he want to take credit for... People were saying, um, well, there's a lot of work to do with the vaccine. We might get one this year, but most people were saying, I feel like it isn't going to be, it isn't going to substantially help until next year sometime. So we shouldn't be planning to get this virus. We should be trying to do other things like uh, wear masks and stuff. And I think that's the main problem with the president kind of bragging about it because he wanted us to just not do anything and wait for the for the vaccine. Um, which would have been bad. I wonder how many people would have died if we just didn't do anything. We just kept, there's like no lockdowns and no masks. Anyway, I mean, I don't know. I mean, some people go to the president for their, for like advice. I don't do that. I don't care what he says. <laughs> I don't trust him that he's going to be trying to help me or give me good information. Um... I trust, I guess, articles about science reports. Um, I, do, I do try to read articles about the virus and stuff, about like how it spreads and how do masks help and this vaccine, when are we actually going to get it and is it going to help at all? I don't trust anything president says because it doesn't seem like I don't know where he's getting his information from <laughs> he's not getting it from scientists because he doesn't really listen to them so when he says when he said this vaccine's gonna come out this year what is he basing that on he didn't really say he's just kind of like trust me so I can't do that and now he's bragging that it's uh, 
it seems like in December they might start rolling it out. Which is pretty much what they were saying. <laughs> like we're gonna start rolling out a couple hundred thousand people might get it like at the end of the year, maybe a million or whatever. Um, but we're still gonna have to social distance and everything until into next year. I mean, I'm not gonna get this vaccine until the middle of next year at least probably because I'm not like a risk factor and I don't work at a hospital and stuff. That's what people were talking about when they were saying earlier this year, you know, you're going to have to wait till next year to for everything to go back to normal, at least. That's what they meant. Um, I don't know. I have to be careful. I keep talking about how much I hate this president. It'll be good as soon he'll be gone, but I just really think he's really a bad person. <laughs> and I, I, I don't like being that kind of a person who just says, like, oh, this person's dumb and I hate everything they say. It's so hard to agree with any way he goes about doing anything. And it may, it must some of it must be cognitive dissonance for me. He must be doing something right or good, right? <laughs> I just keep reinforcing, I keep looking at news articles that keep saying he's stupid and maybe I ignore the ones where it's like, oh, this thing was good that he did. Maybe. There's like a temple of time somewhere. Here, this thing. Yeah. Because I did it in the dark world and now I need to go to the light world. I think I went way over today. Whoops. I didn't really do anything, did I? Let's see. I have to do something today. It'll be interesting um, about like wearing masks in the future. Will people keep doing it? Because it does help. It's weird that we didn't know. Why didn't we know that masks help? Why did it take us so long to figure that out? <laughs> it's weird to me that we didn't know the first couple months, we had never done any tests that test like airborne viruses. Do cloth masks help? I guess not. But it'll be interesting because uh, people in Asia wear masks. I guess that's why they wear them. Because they don't want to spread like the flu and stuff. Um, so will people in America do that? I don't think I ever will, unless it's required. Because I'll be too self-conscious about like, oh, what are you wearing a mask? I don't know. <laughs> you know, you don't have to. People, oh, yeah, I'd be afraid people would judge me. Like you're afraid of everything. Okay, I did something. Part 8. I'm on part 8 of 19. <laughs> uh, what's this? Uh, I gotta listen to this guy. He might tell me where to go. Will he give me like a purple beam or something? Nope. Okay. That was just it. My reward is his gratitude. I want a new shooty thing. I guess that's it. I don't know where to go now. Is there a new area somewhere? When you do this, it looks, look at this, it looks bigger. Look at all this thing. What's this? Oh no. Is this the whole 
No, there's more. There's more worlds. This is just the Aegon place. Okay, I guess that's it for today. Oh no no. Try to get rid of more notes tomorrow. <laughs> that's a bad idea. What should I talk about tomorrow? Somebody help me. Give me something. I'm taking requests. <laughs> like I'm at the bar. Any requests? Social anxiety again. Okay. See you tomorrow.